She is a wife, a mother, a former MP who has held several cabinet positions and served as the deputy leader of the opposition. Now Lisa Raitt is in one of the most challenging roles of her life. <laughs> I'm leaving. That's good. Stupid. You need this guy. That's Rate's husband, Bruce, who was diagnosed with young onset Alzheimer's four years ago. And while this video may be hard to watch for some, for Rate, it's part of everyday life as a caregiver. And Lisa joins us this morning. I'm so glad to talk to you. Uh, Lisa, uh, from what I've been told, there are good days and there are bad days. Mm -hmm. How are you and your family doing this morning? It wasn't a great weekend. Um, it's funny, Ben, I look at that video and that was about six weeks ago. And that's when Bruce could actually still speak a little bit. And now he just doesn't really have any ability to speak. He doesn't actually look like his old self anymore. He doesn't look like he is um, able to communicate with us. And so that's actually, although there's a lot of anger in the way he's talking right now, at least I can see he's lucid. And right now I would say that he's really not there. Um, yeah, so it was a tough weekend for me and the kids, without a question. We've moved into another phase of Alzheimer's. What, what's been the most difficult part of caring for your husband as he experiences this disease? Keeping up with it. Mm. Um, so the, it's often been described as riding waves. Uh, you don't know what's coming next for you in terms of what symptoms there's going to be. What you just saw was uh, a lot of aggression, anger which were based on delusions and hallucinations. The good news is, is that we've passed that psychotic kind of um, reaction. And now the kind of reaction I get is when I try to help him get in the shower or shave, he doesn't want anything to do with it and he'll push back physically. But it's more like a, a toddler reacting to being told something you don't want, they don't want to do and the anger is dissipated in a minute. What was happening about six weeks ago, all the way back to May, was just very much along the lines of psychosis, and you didn't quite know what was going to end up happening to you. Uh, Lisa, you're talking about this in a very matter-of-fact way. Uh, you're not trained mm -hmm. for this. You don't have experience in this world. Um, how are you coping uh, physically and mentally with, with this responsibility? Well, physically, uh, we're going to put to the side for a while, quite frankly. Um, caregivers oftentimes can lose weight because they don't have time to eat, and that's kind of my world right now. The diet side isn't super great. But I will tell you that uh, mentally, I have awesome friends. I've got a great family. I have called... Ben, your dad called me out of the blue to see how I was doing. I've got lots of folks around the world who care about me and check in to see how things are, things are going. That keeps me going. That gives me a lot of strength as well. So mentally, I know what's going on and I'm, I'm dealing with it. And I think that's why I'm able to talk about it so matter-of-factly so that others can know what's going on inside some other people's houses. But in the best of times, this would be a massive responsibility. And we are not living in the best of times. We're living in a pandemic where we are told, stay at home, avoid contact with other people. Um, talk to me mm -hmm. about the, the particular um, dangers and problems of having to be a care worker uh, during the uh, during a pandemic yeah there's two problems first of all i rely heavily on folks coming into my house so that i can actually go to work bruce has young onset alzheimer's families who have that disease that they're dealing with they still have a partner that probably works that looks after children there's teenagers or young kids in the house those things have to continue we have to be really careful about covid because the worst thing that can happen is that we end up having a diagnosis in the house and I lose all care workers being able to come in and help us. And we just, we, it would be really difficult to survive. The second thing is um, Bruce likes socialization. He likes going out. He likes going to stores and look around. We can't do that because there's a higher risk. The third thing, Ben, is I know we're at the point where I should be looking at long-term care for Bruce. And right now, wait lists are very long and it's difficult even to get face-to-face um, -face treatment with doctors or geriatric psychiatrists in order to get a right diagnosis and the right set of medications to allow him to be actually um, allowed to go into a long-term care facility. Lisa, we know that being this open about your private life, it, it's not easy, but you say you're doing it for the other caregivers out there. Now, if somebody's watching from home right now, what do you yeah. want to say to that person taking care of a loved one who, who may be struggling? 
I'm going to say reach out. I'm going to say you're not alone. Um, if you are, if you have the ability to go online, there are some great community groups out there you can go online to. Don't dismiss joining a group therapy kind of situation that are available through Alzheimer's Society or through a group called Hilarity for Charity in the United States. I found that to be really helpful. Alzheimer's has waves of symptoms. People have experienced this before. There are lots of pieces of information you can get to help you get through it. But at the end of the day, Ben, this is an absolute burden on all kinds of families. And I just, I hope and I pray for all of them out there and know that you're not alone. And for those, you know, bosses out there and for coworkers, reach out. I have great support system at CIBC and people reach out to me. Reach out to the folks you know who are undergoing some difficult times right now. Tis the season. Is the season. Lisa, you, you are providing strength and comfort to so many with your story right now. Uh, thank you for, for coming to your morning and sharing. We appreciate it. We wish you only the very best this holiday season. Thank you. Best to you and yours, Ben. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.